This is TJ. In this video, I want to quickly show you five websites that I like to use when I'm looking for free stock photos and um, free images and pictures that I can use uh, for different kinds of work that I'm doing. I do some web design, some print work, um, different things. So I'll show you the sites that I like to, to check out to find these. I use everystockphoto.com. I use Google Image Search. I use openphoto.net. I use stockarch.com and I use pixabay.com. There's a lot more out there, but these I've had pretty good results between these five. I've been able to find just about everything I've ever wanted to. So I'll show you this first one. I'll, I'll show you how to download from each one of these, how to find pictures, and how to understand the licensing and make sure you're getting a legally free picture you can use. I'll find things for commercial use. So let's say I'll search for a computer. Every stock photo actually searches several different sources, searches Flickr, Image After, NASA, uh, Wikipedia, um, Morg file, all the uh, Morg, Morg, Morg U file, and uh, Wiki, Wikimedia Commons, so lots of different uh, things. I can search Stock Exchange, but the thing I'm, I have selected right now, I have show only licenses that allow for commercial use. So it's not going to search Stock Exchange because um, some of the ones on there aren't allowed for commercial use. So here's the results down here. Notice over on the right hand side it's premium results from Photolia. Um, so those are ones I, had, I would have to pay for. But these ones over here are my actual search results. So if I wanted to use um, this one, and um, I can read about the license. So I'll open that in a new tab. And I will go um, to the site. So this isn't, every stock photo just connects me with, web, with the websites that have these free photos. So I will go to the actual website. Um, and here's this. I can't just download it from here. I can't go right click and save image like you normally would because it'll have this blacked out um, thing over it. But I can just click download image um, and then I, I can download it then. And it's a huge file too, I think. It's a, uh, well, it's pretty big. 2240 by 1680 pixels. So it's, it's pretty good quality. Um, so yeah, that's been downloaded now. I can just open it up and look at it on my computer. I can edit it. I can use it on a website. Well, I, I should read and make sure what I can do with it. So it says, you are free to remix and adapt the work, commercial use, or commercial, to use this work for commercial purposes without attribution, to use without attri uh, attributing, attributing the original author. So that's a pretty open, pretty awesome license for this. That means I can, I can use it just about any way that I want to. Well, there's some things I can't do. I can't sell it by itself and I can't claim ownership of it. So, um, Another great tool is Google search results. So you can search, if I just go computer and then I click under, under image search, but what you have to do is click on search tools and go down to usage rights and say labeled for reuse with modification or reuse. I'll just say labeled for reuse, reuse with modification. So all of these are actually labeled, and look, this is actually from Pixabay, which is the site we're going to be looking at in a little bit. But it just uh, it just pulls pictures from all over the place. So this one's I can open it and I can check it out, um, and I can actually visit the website that has this and find out information about downloading this. And it looks like it has. I can click download right here. Um, so it looks like it's it ha it's released under the Creative Commons license. Uh, yes, Creative Commons, some rights reserved. This work is licensed under Creative Commons Attribution 3.0 license. So very cool. So I could use that. And I just provide attribution to the original um, creator of it, which is Ivy Programmer. Um, and, and whatever the name of the w piece of art is, desktop computer icon. So, um, yeah, this next one, well, let's go back. Oh, I just closed it. <laughs> so I, I was just going to go back and show you. So that's how Google search results um, work. Just make sure you're searching under... Um, a license filter. Okay, this next one, um, openphoto.net. Um, we'll click on search, and then I will just do the same thing. Computer. You can also just like browse through and get ideas for cool pictures. So, and there's a way you can do advanced search. I forget how to do it. Um, but we'll just click on maybe this result here. That's kind of a cool. I think that's a negative. Yeah, it's like a negative of a picture. So uh, tells about some information about the picture, but I want to find out about the licensing. I'll click download. So then I can just go right click and go save image as and save it. And I can use it on my computer. Um, but like I said, you always want to check those uh, the licenses on them. And so, um, and I was just looking to see. But I do have the uh, the creator, right? 
Jordan Miller for openphoto.net Creative Commons Attribution. There it is. It's very fine print right at the bottom there. So I can use this Creative Commons Attribution. Oh, and here it is, large, large print. Uh, so that's uh, openphoto.net, but it's also a great search tool. Moving on, I don't want to spend too much time on each of these because they're pretty straightforward, really. Stock Arch, um, again, we'll just we could search through. They have like all kinds of different categories, but I'll just search for um, computer, like I've been doing, and here's what it comes up with. So, eh, not an actual computer, but some maybe I want to use like this thing here of this uh, circuit board. So I can click on it, and it tells me at the bottom here, license Creative Commons. Um, by stockmedia.cc and it's Creative Commons Attribution 3.0 license. So I would just have to provide attribution to um, stockmedia.cc and the name of this is Microelectronics and Circuit Board 7159. So I, I would just uh, provide attribution like that. Um, this last one, oh and to download it, let's see, I just click accept license and download image and then it puts it in a new a new uh, window for me or a new tab, is that what it did? No, it just put me to a new page or a, a page and then I can click Save Image As and save it to my computer. Right click, Save Image As. Alright, this last one, Pixabay. I'll just show you a quick search on it. So I'll type in computer. And this one, let's see here. Popular images, image type, um, categories, orientation. So it gives you some different uh, options for searching and I will click on one. I was looking for an advanced search option. I know there's a... I was doing it a little while ago. But I'll just do... this is like a vector image of a like a Mac type computer screen with a transparent background. That's pretty cool. So if I want to use it, I can just click download. Oh yes, that's what it is. So this one, um, if you want to download like the vector image, I think it wants you to, to log in. Yeah, please sign in. And or, if, or if you want to download like the high resolution, like this high res resolution PNG image, then it wants me to log in. So, but you can log in and then you can do that for free. Or you can get the little one. Um, just download it right away and you can have it. Um, then the license, this is Creative Commons Zero, which is public domain, which is pretty cool. And I can read more about it if I want to. Um, all the limitations and, and, and uh, things you can do with, can and cannot do with um, public domain Creative Commons Zero license. So anyway, hopefully that was kind of informative. I know that was kind of a speedy run through these um, different sites, but uh, there really are a lot of good free pictures out there that you can get. Um, you can use them for commercial use. Um, it's legal. You just have to understand the licensing. So um, check out some of my other videos here on YouTube where I talk about Creative Commons licensing and, and I'll give you a guide and a breakdown of the different licenses available. I also have other videos on free stock footage, free um, royalty free music and sound effects and things that you can use in making videos or doing different kinds of creative works. Um, so check those out here on my YouTube channel, TJ Free, or at my website, tjfree.com. I appreciate you watching. Go ahead and uh, like and subscribe to my channel if you'd uh, feel so inclined, and we will catch you on the next video. Take care.